Well, Lana Zag joins us now with a look at what that means for anyone trying to buy a home. Lana? Hey there, John. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's more bad news, really. The Fed was hoping that the 0.75% rate hike and another one that's likely going to come in July is going to cool down the economy and the housing market with it. For now, though, it is a one-two punch. The first punch potential home buyers are facing the highest mortgage rates since 2008. At that time, we were looking at about a 6% mortgage rate. We are almost there right now, 5.758, roughly in that neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> the telestration isn't always as cooperative. Your application will not be denied for, for bad <laughs> as, telestration. As it's like. misbehaving on uh, but, but the point fundamentally is that we are looking at the, the highest interest rates, and those are going to have some very real implications for people, especially when you consider the second punch, and that is that the cost of houses has gone through the roof. A house, for example, that cost $500,000 last year, this year is up by a hundred thousand dollars more for the exact same house. You put them together and here's what you can expect to pay. You add that 100 additional principal for a home that cost 500,000 last year. Now you're going to add $360,000 in additional mortgage payments over the course of a 30-year loan. We're talking $460,000 for a home that last year would have cost somebody just three, just five hundred thousand dollars. That's almost thirteen hundred dollars more a month, and that is just an average. Because if you live in one of the markets that's been hardest hit, you can expect to pay much more. Let me tell you some examples of that. Prices are up twenty eight percent in Salt Lake City, Utah, over just last year. In Colorado, Fort Collins, twenty eight point four percent, and look at Punta Gorda, Florida. Prices up a whopping 34% compared to just last year. So prices are high, rates are high. What's that doing to sales, which have been real great? It's been good to be a home seller. Well, What's it has been. The market is, however, fluctuating right now. Fundamentally, we're seeing an adjustment. The National Association of Realtors announced just today that home sales have dropped for the fourth consecutive month. Realtor.com is expecting that the number of home sales will decline by 6% this year compared to 2021. But even with the drop, the real estate market is busy. And prices haven't dropped in part because of a low stock in available housing. It's really classic economics when you see the supply go down and the demand is really high. Those prices are going to go up, John. All right, Lana, thanks so much for sure, breaking that all down.